In a disturbing trend, two consecutive state of the province addresses have been disrupted by the EFF, raising concerns about accountability, decorum and the state of South African democracy. On Thursday, the Eastern Cape SOPA, delivered by Premier Oscar Mabuyane, descended into chaos as EFF members rushed the podium while he spoke. Videos show them gesturing angrily, clashing with security personnel and even throwing punches before being removed. This mirrors a similar incident during Gauteng Premier Panyazale Sufi's SOPA just days earlier, where water bottles and chairs flew in a scuffle sparked by the EFF. These disruptions go beyond mere theatrics. They raise questions such as, are such outbursts justified avenues for voicing concerns or do they undermine democratic processes and disrespect legislative spaces? Does disrupting electoral officials set a dangerous precedent for public discourse and engagement with authority figures? Does these disruptions hinder or derail essential discussions or provincial issues and hinder progress or critical matters? The EFF justifies its actions as expressing dissatisfaction with provincial governance and demanding accountability. However, critics argue that these disruptions are performative attempts to gather media attention and undermine the legitimacy of opposing parties. Additionally, the choice of SOPA platforms, crucially for outlining provincial plans and challenges, raises questions about the true message of the EFF seeking to convey. While ongoing government accountable is essential, the methods employed must be constructive and democratic. Disruptions only create chaos and stifle meaningful dialogue. The EFF and other political players must prioritize conservative engagement, utilizing designated channels for rising concerns and fostering productive debate. The continued disruption of SOPAs jeopardizes the very foundation of South African democracy. It is imperative for all stakeholders, including political parties, security personnel and civil society to work together to find solutions that ensure accountability, respect and productive dialogue prevail within South Africa's political landscape. For this and much more from Southern TV, be sure to leave your comment about the matter in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more updates.